Today we're going to talk about managing stress before it manages you. And we're going to talk a little bit about your stress response. So let's understand the stress response. Our stress response is uh, the way our body responds in order to fight or flee from stressful stimuli. And if you think way back in time, these these responses have evolved over many years to get us a better chance at survival. So way back, imagine someone was confronted by a bear. Well, what would happen is our system would kick in fight or flight and our heart would increase, our blood pressure would increase, and our body would kick in all kinds of systems to make us more capable of fighting or fleeing but it also would shut down systems that we didn't need as much in that moment. And one of those systems is it shuts down some of our more advanced thought because when we're running from a bear, we don't really need to do advanced algebra. So let's think about this a little differently. I'm gonna talk about your brain and how these emotions um, kind of connect with our behavior in our brain. So we're gonna use a metaphor for your brain that centers around your hand. So I'm gonna take my thumb and put it in here and then fold my fingers over like this. And we've got a model for your brain. If I open it up, our brain stem is our automatic pilot for like breathing and digestion. And our limbic system is where we feel strong emotions like anger, sadness, excitement, and fear. Our neocortex, this outside part right here, this is where we can do rational, logical, analytical thought. But that's the only part of our brain that can do rational, logical, analytical thought. Our limbic system cannot do that, and our brain stem cannot do that. So why is this so important? When we get in that panic mode, when we are overwhelmed by emotions, and our body gets into that fight or flight mode, we literally flip our lid, disconnecting our thinking brain from our behavior. And this is important because when we're in this state of emotional hijack is when we normally make the biggest mistakes of our lives. I'm sure you can think of times that you lost control of your anger or you lost control of your own stress and then you did something that maybe you regretted. So what we need to do is learn how to become more aware of those emotional states to understand where they're coming from, understand the message behind those emotions, so that we can better manage them and keep them at helpful rather than unhelpful levels. So don't let yourself flip your lid and make big mistakes. Instead, learn to become more aware of your emotions, manage them and regulate. And I'll see you in the next video.